Rockies thought they had their men after making two arrests in a serial rapist investigation, but now we're finding out that may not be the case, at least for one of them. And there may be other suspects out there. Seven Action News reporter Gino Vici is live in Detroit where the attacks have put a lot of women on edge, Gino. Well, they sure have, Carolyn, and right behind me is Paquette Street, as well as Milwaukee Street, a block over. Now, these are two very popular roads that will take you from Wayne State's campus over to Eastern Market and the Russell Industrial Complex, where one of these incidents occurred. Now, although none of them happened on campus, women I spoke with here say they're not taking any chances. Definitely just like paying attention and looking around, being aware of your surroundings. I always make sure no one's following me. Three frightening incidents of abduction and rape not far from Wayne State University have women on campus on alert. It's kind of scary to hear that and unfortunate. Lana Mashney says whenever possible, she makes sure she's not walking alone, especially at night, even on campus with police in view. It's nice to have someone to walk with just obviously for safety reasons. On September 30th, a woman riding her bicycle alone down Milwaukee Street near Orleans told police she was headed to her boyfriend's house when two men pulled up in a white van, drove her around raping her and forcing her to withdraw money from her bank account. She posted this to social media detailing what happened. It's been shared more than 8,000 times on Facebook. Then on October 11th in Hamtramck, another woman abducted and raped. Then a third incident reported nearby. The details have not been released. 7 Action News has confirmed two more attempted abductions. In all of the disturbing incidents, the victims were alone. Word has spread around campus, causing women to be extra cautious and giving others advice to stay safe. I'd call a friend, get a ride. It's just, it's too unsafe. I never have my headphones in. I'm always cautious of that. If you know people that are going to walk alone, you know, like you should be like, hey, like I'll walk with you. Again, two men were initially arrested, as you guys mentioned. One man was released. DPD says this investigation, no doubt, is a top priority. Live in Detroit, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. Well, we got to hope they're going to get to the bottom of it for sure. Thank you so much, Gino, for the live report.